Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. And, um, rocket stoves are very important, and that's what this is, is a little tiny rocket stove. It's about 11 centimeters high, 8 centimeters long, this way. About 5 centimeters wide. So, I got it because I was just fascinated with the concept I've always have been. It's so important, so critical. And be able to cook with very little fuel. So I wanted to get a small one that was portable. And a couple of young men here have been wanting to do some outdoor, you know, wild crafting, bushcraft. And um, trying to get to see that guy down there. So I wanted to find a small one that was portable. And this one is flat. You put it together, very difficult, but I got it done. I had to watch a video, but that's okay. I numbered the parts. You can see that. So anyway, yeah, very good. This one actually has two doors. This is a door for your fuel. This is a little damper door, a little three doors, actually. That's a little, it will stay there. It's perfectly balanced, so it'll stay open partially, three-quarter or closed. And that goes down into your fuel. The grate down there. Let me get the, the, the torch on. There's your grate where your fuel ends up. And then your, um, you can see this one at an angle there. There's air holes. And that's for either increasing the airflow or le lessening it. And then here's your another damper. You could also probably put fuel in there, but that's not really what it's made for. Okay, so that's it. And this will be kind of a gravity feed because you put twigs in there, then they'll burn down and feed in gradually. And it's got a pot holder up here. Um, let me get a can. I just realized that my my pod that I hold the phone stable with, a uh, piece of it fell off over the last couple of weeks, so I've got to find it. And not the, the tightener that holds the phone upright, or vertical, or adjustable anyway. So there you go. You can cook a put a pipe out of six inch, seven inch pot on there. And it's stable enough you could put something bigger on there, but you know, I, it's something you have to play with and experiment with. So this thing is flat. It full it comes completely flat. Let me get one here. Let me see. I have another one here. Comes in that bag there. So where'd the other one go? Where'd the other one go? Hang on, I'm gonna pop. So oh, there you go. There's my hand. I could about the width and length of my hand. Weighs I would guess a pound maybe. So it's small, portable, but yet very high efficiency, very high efficiency. And if you don't if you're not familiar with the concept of rocket stoves, please I've got playlists on them. I've got um playlists on Dakota fire holes. Um, I've got playlists on upside down fires. Learn how to build a fire. Learn how to take care of yourself out in the wilderness. If you're going to go on be on a farm or a homestead or a retreat or a refuge, you need to be worth something. You need to be able to take care of yourself and take care of other people. And you can build, I kid you not, a, a rocket stove. Basically, you can build an in-ground rocket stove. I've done it twice and it worked fabulous. You can sleep on warm ground. because You can run the burn chamber underneath the ground either using pipe or even rocks, and there's a lot of videos out there how to do that. So rocket stoves are very, absolutely critical for sustaining life on very little fuel and being sustainable. So this thing will burn twigs, you know, little bitty pizza, pieces of wood, fat wood, slivers of pine, cedar, oak, hickory, it doesn't make any difference, it'll burn it. Stainless steel, so it'll last quite a bit of time, I, I don't know. I'll fire it up and do a video on it. I'll have fun doing that. But right now I'm I still gotta do the animals and yeah, split some firewood, so Alright, there you go. Initial new series coming up, rocket stoves. Backpack. This is a look for a flat pack or collapsible rocket stove. This originally was the Hellfire. It was designed by an American and now it's been knocked off i didn't know it i got it yeah i got it from china oh well but um there's an american seller u.s seller for the same exact model 
So if you got, I'll give you the price on four of them is $26 a piece. So it's about $104 for four of these from the U.S. seller. And from the uh, other one coming from overseas, about $19 a piece. So $6 difference. I'd pay the $6 happily, and I'm going to plan on doing that to get four of them for more of them. So, okay, there you go. Little tabs here for the little handle, teeny little handle that you can't get anybody to see it. Let me show you that. It's made for right-handed people, the handle's on the right. Ha <laughs> ha Same with the bottom one. Damper's pretty cool, though. I like that. It's nicely balanced, so it'll just stay there wherever you want it. Wide open or closed. Even partially closed. Very neat. Okay, enough blathering. Thank you. Take care of yourselves out there. Um, what I'm, one thing I've talked about before is, uh, you know, spiritual and mental emotional preparedness. So I'm going to talk a little bit about mental emotional. You need to be worth something to somebody. So you need to have some skills, talents, um, something you've learned, uh, a trade, something you can do for, you know, as a service. Because it may be that we all are in more of a service and trade oriented um, system. Like these, whoever's building things like this can make money you know, by building them and selling them. But you may have to service things, build things, repair things, learn some trade, okay? You mentally, emotionally, get ready for that. You're not going to sit at home and do, um, you know, online work and make $10,000 a month um, just because you know how to do techie stuff. You might have to actually learn how to split firewood. So learn how to split firewood, learn how to make a rocket stove, learn how to feed a stove, take care of a stove. Because if you want to be warm through whatever you're doing, and you're, if you want to be cushy and comfy, you need to be able to stay warm with minimal amount of work. And if you got to do that work yourself, you better be up for that physically. So this is a physical preparedness thing here, how to stay warm. And you need to, you know, be ready mentally and emotionally to do that. So, and um, another thing is uh, carts are, you know, a way to get here. You can drive now or walk later. I'm just going to say it that way. D-N-O-W-L. Drive now or walk later. You come now with your goods, your tools, your equipment, your family. Be part of the solution. Or you can come later and lose some of your tools and equipment, vehicles and family, and be part of the problem. Be more of a part of the problem. So... And it all, all depends on what's in your head and what's in your heart. If you're a selfish person, and I've talked to one recently that, well, several people are turning out, looks like they're goats, not sheep. You know what that means? It means their goats are grasping, sheep are sharing. Sheep share, goats grasp, take for themselves. They just are greedy. They're evil. They're selfish. They're greedy. They're violent. They're vicious. I deal with them every day. And they're dumb. Dumb as a box of rocks. So don't come here planning on being a dumb, as a box of rocks, worthless, selfish, greedy, violent person. If you want to come here to the gathering of the wedding feast of the Lamb, you need to be unselfish, giving, sharing, helpful, pleasant, and be worth something to somebody. So there's your mental, emo emotional, and spiritual admonition for the day all right be worth something to somebody you gotta be worth something spiritually be able to give counsel wisdom wisdom is crying in the streets to be heard so don't be the fool that doesn't want to hear listen to wisdom there's way too many of them here already and i'm getting tired of it all right thank you this is jerry diamond if you're listening to this you are the remnant I'll be back. Hasta la vista, baby.